Now keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. Well, after a night of some severe weather, Julie, it's nice to have a calm day today. Yeah, you know, as much as we needed the rain, I yeah. think the severe weather, a big wake-up call mm -hmm. to a lot of people, especially yeah. while you were watching sports this weekend. <laughs> you had to kind of look around that little map in the corner, didn't you? Here's Viper 2 HD. Things are quiet now, as expected. Bartlesville down through Bristow. Oak Mulgee also scanning dry. The showers and thunderstorms from this weekend well off to our east and down to our south. This is where all of the uh, rain and shower and thunderstorm activity is going to be today anywhere from Texas through portions of Memphis up towards Cincinnati and Louisville, Chicago, seen some rain. All of this moving away. High pressure controlling our weather today. So a lot of sunshine and dry weather in the forecast. We will have some low rain chances as we head into midweek, but for today and tomorrow looks like things will be very quiet. We've really greened up a little bit across northeastern Oklahoma and in the past 48 hours, check out our rainfall totals. In the past 48 hours, we've seen half an inch of rain in Bartlesville, over an inch and a half from Coffeeville to Grove, about half an inch in Tahlequah, over an inch in Muskogee, point eight in Tulsa. So far for the month, we've had over an inch of rain that puts us at 21.8 inches for the year. We're still lacking as far as rain goes, uh, over eight inches behind. And again, not going to help out that total at all today. Because of the saturated soils and the light winds and the clear skies, there was a little bit of fog that developed early this morning. That was especially the case near Grand Lake. Thanks to Farah for sending this picture in. Weather at KJRH.com. Always looking for your weather pictures. Sunshine now, Manford, McAllister, Muskogee up towards Independence. See that bright blue sky through our Brookside cam as well. We're uh, checking in right now with temperatures in the 70s, 74 degrees. We have a north-northwest breeze at 13 and pressures currently rising. Our dew points at 57 and our humidity is currently checking in at 56 percent. It's 74 in Bartlesville, 73 in Coffeeville, 72 in Oak Mulgee, so a lot of 70s across the map. Uh, Norman's checking in at 77 degrees and the clouds continue to move off to our east. We'll continue with north breezes today. The wind will shift to the south as we head into tomorrow and tomorrow we'll let likely be the warmest day of the work week. Here's the plan on Futurecast as we head into this afternoon. Again, north breezes, mostly sunny sky, quiet weather when you're watching Dan tonight at 5, 6, and 10. He's been with you all weekend long, tracking severe thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings. Again, won't be the case this afternoon. Overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we're looking at a mainly clear sky. South winds developing. There is yet another front that'll be knocking on our door Tuesday night. Probably won't press through the area until Wednesday. Wednesday morning and it's behind this front we'll have a little wave of energy that'll bring us at least some low shower and thunderstorm chances for late Wednesday night and into early Thursday morning. Today in Sand Springs you'll see a high of 82 degrees, mostly sunny, about 82 in Bartlesville, 80 in Pryor and Muskogee, about 83 in Oak Mulgee. Overnight we'll drop to 56, a light south breeze by morning and tomorrow afternoon shooting for a high of about 86 degrees. There could be a few locations that are even a little closer to 90. 90 tomorrow afternoon. It's back to the 70s on Wednesday and Thursday. On Friday, a high of 79 degrees. Clearly, Friday's the day when all the leaves fall off <laughs> yes, the trees. Clearly. There. <laughs> Seven day forecast. <laughs> now, it's the first day of fall on Yay. Friday. It's going to feel that way. But as we head into the weekend, we're back into the 80s, Dina. 84 on Saturday, 86 Sunday. Hey, I don't think there's anything to complain about with that seven day. It looks good. Yeah, thanks, Julie.